How's it going everyone? I'm going to do a video here on my Texas Chainsaw Massacre mask collection. All these masks are on display stands made by Keith Thompson of Higgins Haven Mask and Displays. And these masks were made by two really outstanding artists. Probably the best two artists when it comes to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. So to get started up top, these are from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Got the Killing Mask on the left and the Pretty Woman Mask on the right, both done by Connor DeLess. Connor DeLess is probably the most talented artist when it comes to sculpting these masks. These masks can't get any more screen accurate than they are. It's unbelievable. And this video won't do it justice. You really got to see these masks in person to see the unbelievable amount of detail they have in them. Like I said, this is the killing mask, which Leatherface wears the majority of the movie. That's its display stand there. Then over here is the pretty woman mask that Leatherface wears during the dinner scene and also the final chase scene. That powdery substance is cornstarch. There is an actual deleted scene that you can find, probably find on YouTube, where Leatherface is putting on makeup before dinner. And cornstarch is actually better for your mask and helps preserve the latex. And there's the, dis the display stand that it's on. And down here is my most recent mask. This is the old woman mask, also known as the grandma mask. This also was made by Connor DeLess. And just like the pretty woman, I put a little bit of cornstarch on this one as well. It's got the slit in the head. And I actually applied another wig to it. If you watch, if you watch the movie, uh, when Leatherface wears this little lady mask, you can see the hair is more fluffier and there's more of it. Well, when I got the mask from Connor, the wig wasn't quite as uh, fluffy as it should have been. So I went out and got another wig and put it on there myself, and it actually has a bun on the back of it that I made. <laughs> Looks a lot more movie accurate now. But here's this display stand. This is definitely my favorite. love that then over here this is just my trick-or-treat studios grandpa mask hopefully sometime in the future I'm able to get it directly from Connor because this is his sculpt but it was made by trick-or-treat studios still not a bad mask trick-or-treat studios actually did a really good job with the mask Connor sculpt, uh, sold his sculpts to them and they started mass producing them Definitely not bad for the price, especially if you rework them, or send them off to an artist and they can convert it a little bit better and paint it, rehair it. But the grandpa mask definitely isn't bad. And here's the display stand I have for that. <clears throat> so that's my original 1974 shelves. All the masks used in the uh, original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Definitely some of my favorite masks right there. And then down here I have the remakes. To the left I have the Eric mask from the prequel. And then on the right I have the Tommy 3.0 from the remake. Both these masks were made by AM Creations. Here's the display stand for that. I asked Keith to add a little bit of blood splatter on there, like Leatherface just took this mask off and since it's so gory I wanted it still dripping blood off of it. It's a real gruesome mask, I love it. I really enjoyed that movie too. And then over here we have the remake. 
Like I said, it was made by AM Creations. Addison definitely makes the best remake mask out there in the market. Now I used to own a Tommy 3.0 silicone mask, which are really rare. But I acquired this one in a trade. I traded my other one for some money and for this one. I just didn't like the paint job that was on that silicone mask. I know they're rare and whatnot, but I couldn't turn down the trade the guy offered me. And I was able to replace it with this mask, so it's not bad. So anyway, that's my Texas Chainsaw Massacre mask display. Definitely some of the best stuff I have in my collection. Definitely some of my favorite items. If you guys can get your hands on some of these masks, or the original mask from Connor, definitely don't hesitate. They're some of the best masks on the market. If you get a chance, go to Mass Fest, first week of September. Connor is always there. Just make sure you get there on the first day, because he's usually sold out by the end of it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.